Welcome back, dear Discord friends. This is the first stop of Baltic Sea Dur Sarasai Open, and we have final nine holes of MPO lead card. My name is Myron Gull, and I'm here with lovely Anneli Dogas. Yes, hello again. So, uh, the weather is still great, no rain. A little bit more windier yeah. than it was at the beginning. So, we have a two way tie. And we have dent hole. What you can say about the whole then? Uh, it's 11th. 11th? Yes. Yeah, sorry, 11th. So, 11th hole is um, it's a quite interesting hole because uh, we had three aces on this tournament. Ooh. And uh, two of them was, uh, <laughs> was aced by Raimondas Mikalkenas. Sorry if I pronounced it wrong. Uh, as you can see, it's a 49 meters, but uh, this year we have uh, OB on the left. Uh, last year we had only water, uh, if I remember it correctly. Yeah. Uh, it's easy with a forehand, but uh, yeah, if you hit uh, a tree too early, then you roll into OB. Yeah. Yes. Like, like that? This. Oh my. Is it safe? Oh, that's safe, I think. Okay, lucky lucky break for him. Yeah, it's a pretty tight cap. But so it, that's a it, yes. It's one of the easiest hole if you draw forehand. Yeah, uh, it played uh, two point seven, so because he had it had three aces. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> and Sven in the circle one. Yeah, I saw a lot of uh, bad rolls on this hole, like. Um, People threw pretty uh, much like perfect shot and end up ended up in a OB. Yeah, if you get the last trees before the basket, you may easily roll OB. Yeah. And another great drive from... Well, if we, we can say it was a drive, it's more a, like... Approach. Approach. Yes. And Ooh. Ooh, great drive from Gabrielius, but not enough. Yes. Swin, uh, oh, high as oh well. Oh my god, no. Robert, easy birdie for him. And uh, others are uh, tapping. Margaret in and there. Ronald should have, yeah, yeah. easy tap ins, really easy. Like bullseye, bullseye hits. So we have three birdies, two bars, and let's move on. So, hole 12. What can you say about hole 12? Um, hole 12. It's a uh, par 4 uh, and it played like par 4. And um, we can see it uh, right now. It's um, OB on the right uh, and if you are throwing it too long with the first shot, yes. It's a 150 meters, um, but um, the wind was quite interesting on this hole. Like uh, if you if you were on the tee pad, it was uh, right to left, and um, another drive if you are making it, then it's a headwind. Yeah, exactly. So Margaret threw a forehand. Forehand, yeah. Yes. That's probably the easiest play. You throw forehand, forehand, or yes, or if you try to approach with backhand then the wind carry from from a little bit right to left could carry it OB as you can see the flag was flag was moving up there. a bit yes yeah. that's so, a great first yes. drive if you are uh, if you end up uh, in that open area then you can get a birdie look yeah so and with this wind like we had today there is even a chance for a uh, eagle because you can go wide hyzer over the trees you see left uh, or right there and you may land just off under the basket yes uh, so as we saw the Sven got the uh, grip lock with a forehand yeah. a bit but it played out safe so that's okay so as you can see the wind is right to left right now and um, it's going a bit uh, downhill over there, so yeah. uh, sometimes if you are throwing with a driver, it can end up in a OB because OB it's left, skipping yeah. uh, downhill. 
Yeah, yes. a little bit short, but still uh, six still meters. Like, yes. If you have a butt, then it's all safe. Marger with forehand. So forehand uh, is a great play in here. Yeah, you can draw with overstable disc and the wind just pushes it down and you can't skip anywhere. Yes. So oh, that's no, a, a little short, bit short one. But, but it's in the circle, I guess. And that's the easy approach for Ronald. Yeah, bullseye. Would you say uh, it's an easy par four? Uh, for me, it was easy. Did you get a birdie each round? I did. I did three birdies. Uh, each round, I got a birdie. Two bullseyes and one was maybe in four meters. Did you go uh, forehand, forehand? Forehand, forehand. Okay. I drove first drive with a uh, star destroyer mm -hmm. and the second one with a uh, firebird. And for me, it played out really easy. I guess the wind, uh, like, um, wind liked the forehand oh, <laughs> in yeah. this hole. <laughs> so. so we got uh, four birdies, one bar, I guess. Let's see. Yes, yeah. you are correct. So Robert got uh, the only par. Yeah, it's unfortunate par because that's one of the must-get birds. Yes. For for these guys, at least. So, so this is the extra hole. <laughs> yeah, and one of my favorite holes, hole uh, 12A. Yeah, it's uh, 135 meters, but um, looks easy. Uh, but it's really not because it, does, uh, it doesn't look easy. <laughs> <laughs> but it's uh, really, really tight. You have uh, like OB on the left, and it's coming like so soon that if you hit the tree, then you're automatically in OB. Yeah. So uh, the wind was uh, right to left. A little bit right to yes. left, but the not forehand is a great play in here. Yeah, if it goes through. So and it. The tree cut didn't see where it landed. Yes, but it should be safe. Should be safe. Yes. Yeah. Ooh, Little bit too it over. much Anheuser, and that's OB. That's yes. Yeah. But uh, in here, it's also uh, pretty easy to get an uh, OB par. Yeah. Yes. Because if you don't miss, or if you don't go to OB too early. Yes. Then it's doable. It's doable. Also, yeah. like Cabras did. Yeah. He went long, so it should be an easy approach. Even a long birdie look. I think uh, in here the play is to play a fairway driver or even a driver and to get that distance. That even if you go yeah. to into end up in, uh, in, in the area. yeah, if you end up in an OB, you're still pretty far. Yeah. How did you play this hole? Um. I played it with an understable disc uh, with a backhand. So um, I got a OB par, uh, par and uh, unfortunate OB bogey. Yeah, I drew the. I think it was the. It is the newest edition or newest um, disc from uh, Innova, Star Lion. Mm. It's really nice and reliable mid range. It goes only straight. It 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 was like. Really easy old hole for me. I drew like straight forward. I had easy approach with uh, butter, and I think I was two times in bullseye again, and another time. Did you get uh, three birdies? I got three birdies. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a good one. Because this lion worked well, worked really well for me. Okay, so Margaret is going a little bit too hot. Yes, but still in the edge of the circle. Let's see what Robert does. Um, there were no eagles on this hole. It's a bit surprising because, um, you know, a lot of MPO players can reach this hole, but it's uh, really hard to throw that far and uh, that straight, yeah. I guess. And the wind was, uh, on the first day, the wind was uh, like... <laughs> not, not easy. Yeah, not easy. So Marger, oh, par for him. Yes, so this hole played a little bit over the par, so 
It's not yeah, that not, hard, I guess. It's not that hard to play par. Birdie. You had you have to do some work to get the birdie. Yes. But par was yeah pretty easy for most of the players. So everyone is uh, tapping in their pars, I guess. Yeah, we have yeah. one birdie as well yeah, from birdie. Sven. And two OB pars. <laughs> yeah. And two pars. So still a tie. It's still interesting. A tie. Yeah. So the next hole is uh, is only 81 meters, but <laughs> but you have a left to right wind. Um, I don't know. What would you throw or what did you throw? I actually throw a putter, okay. aviator tree, straight to the basket. Did you release it on the basket? No, to the left of the, yeah, exactly like, like this. Yeah. Yes, and. It went over a little bit and the best miss in here is like this. Yes. If you miss it a little bit left, it's not bad. It's like you can go too hot in yeah. this uh, hole because the trees are stopping you. But the safest play I would say was forehand. Because if you go even there, you have kind of butt, but most of the times the bushes, they're really thick. They, they just catch your disc and uh, you can but yeah. I think it's um, it's not so good to be on the right. It's easier to be on the left side. Because um, if you turn it over a bit too much or uh, the wind was... Oh. Oh. Got those bushes. Uh, the wind was also... On the first day, the wind was uh, like so strong, it pushed all the backhand discs even uh, to the right. And uh, I saw some uh, penalties there. And if you end up too early on the right, then it's mostly only bogey. So, as you can see, yeah. <laughs> some uh, woodwork. Yeah. Harvesting. Harvesting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes. He had some kind of look of the basket, but not much. So, no window in here, too. Yeah, but just it's approach. a uh, yeah. easy tree. So Marger. Ooh. Yeah. He had a window. So um this hole played um uh, exactly three. Exactly three, yeah. Uh, par. And Gabrielus have the birdie look and no, no. denied by the basket. He's like, what? Yeah. <laughs> this is my home course. How yes. those baskets are not <laughs> catching my discs? <laughs> they should supporting me. <laughs> but yeah, it's not so easy always. So uh, I think birdie is great in here. Birdie is great. Bar is okay. Boogie is trouble. Boogie is boogie. Yeah, boogie is boogie. Nobody wants to wants to get a boogie. Yeah, we probably had five bars, and we can move on. No, Sven got uh, birdie. Did he? Yes. Yeah, Sven has birdie, birdie, and he's closing and down the gap. Yeah, and one bogey. So, so Marger is, uh, is leading. Yes. We have a new leader. So, next hole 67 meters. So, um, you have a choice to go with a high forehand or a turnover backhand. It's. Um, a little bit similar, similar to the uh, first hole. Yeah. Yes. But you have to draw higher. Higher, yes. I did three backhands. I did three forehands. <laughs> so as you so, can see, yeah, you can You can play. throw it up yeah. and wind is carrying it. With a forehand, I always uh, afraid uh, to throw onto these bushes. Yeah. Yeah. And Margaret is going forehand as well. 
just have to draw it high and wind carries it under the basket or in the circle yes. almost every time. Uh, it's a fast green in there, I think, because uh, if it's skipping, then it's skipping like too much. Yeah. But with but, a backhand, but it's just... Most of the forehands, they spike in, so they, they don't skip that much, oh, okay. usually. But it may happen, yeah. I was only with the ladies, I didn't see how the guys are <laughs> playing, so we all yeah. did uh, backhands. Yeah, look like Robert's disc flipped a little bit. So how did you do on this hole? I did... I did uh, birdie par par. It uh, plays under a par. Yeah. I got three birdies. Did you? Yes, I was on the circles edge all the time. I've seen the green, but <laughs> it wasn't easy, but it's a great birdie, I think. It is, yeah. It's not easy. As you can see from the MPO lead card, there is no easy birdies or even easy birdie chances. Yes. So Sven, Sven. is... Uh, yeah. yeah, nice third, putt. Third bird in the row and he's closing down the gap now. Yes. He's only one behind Ronald and two behind Marger. Ronald is putting... As you can see, the wind is picking up a bit. Yeah, and Ronald missed it again. He have had... Nice. Ronald have had a few missed but yes in the last few holes and he have he has have given, gauged, away, given the away the lead, lead and Margaret is leading by two already and Sven is closing down the second place almost as well so let's see how it goes on so Gabrielus is also tapping in his, his par. par and we had two birdies three bars and Margaret is leading by two already. Yes. And he is ten under already. This after, is a hot round. After thirteen and fourteen. Yeah. Fourteen holes. So this hole. Um, <laughs> uh, I don't know. It, this this even doesn't look easy because um, you have uh, you can get a penalty if they're too long and it goes downhill a bit and uh, I saw a lot of forehands that uh, that looked great but they rolled into OB. Yeah, but actually it plays pretty similarly to the previous hold. Okay. You have to throw high, overstable disc, something, is it mid-range or driver or fairway, it doesn't matter, and the wind carries it under a under the basket or towards to the basket. Yeah. Did so you, as you can see. Did you throw a forehand? I did. Okay. I did all rounds forehand like Margaret did. Okay. It, it was Are perfect. we going to see some backhands? Gabrielus? Probably. Oh no. no. He's going in the forehand. Then maybe Ronald. Oh. In backhand. <laughs> yeah. Great forehand. Yeah. You have yeah. to turn over so much uh, with a backhand. Yeah. So it. Uh, it's not easy. Yeah. yeah. It's not easy at all it went too high i guess and not wide enough yeah Where did you oh, oh that's a he's in that, jail yeah this is a jail i don't even know if he has any looks it's really hard to even approach to the basket uh, yeah. if you're in there yeah. oh that's a great one ronald did great yeah i hope so no backhands no backhands okay Let's see. Oh, uh, not much, but hopefully he will find some window. Forehand. Yeah, that was great, he... but a little bit long. Yes, but um... in the circle. Sven. Yes. Oh, another birdie. That was a close one. It almost came out. Yeah, but score. Yeah. High but fives. You, you you cannot see on the scoreboard. Yeah, <laughs> it's two. <laughs> Gabrielius, yeah, yes. another birdie. Ronald, Le oh no, no he's too low again. Putting is, he has lost his putting. Usually he's really great putter, but I don't know what have happened. Maybe uh, end is like near and. Yeah, You're a bit nervous. And, yeah, and Marger is taking yes. birdie after birdie after birdie after birdie. He's 11 down yeah. already and 
seems like he will never stop. Yes. Robert is not happy with his bar, but bar is good. Yeah, so we got uh, three berries. So Margaret is al already leading by three. By three, and Sven is tied on second place. Now we're uh, heading to the hardest, almost, yes, no, it, it played like the hardest hole on the course. And um, you can see why. You have Obi on the left, Obi on the right, the wind was headwind usually. And um, it's a tight, 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 it, tight it's, hole. It's pretty tight, but still it's only 110 meters. Yeah. You have to trust your stable driver. Or fairway, but as you can see, it's really easy to get a penalty. It is, but still, if you go far enough, you have a chance to save your bar, yes. or you won't get more than boogie. Uh, I'm surprised that he didn't play forehand. If it, he has that kind of forehand, he has, yeah, but it's, probably he's playing safe. He's playing safe because he has he slight lead. He doesn't want to mess with his win and lead. Yeah, and the uh, hole slopes down a little bit in the end, so yes. there's good chance that you skip OB if you go forehand. It's you know there were only uh, twelve birdies. Uh, twelve is pretty it's much actually is because it? it's uh, not easy hole. Okay, so we are seeing this. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my Is God. it cut rolling? No. Yeah, no. Should be an easy approach. Oh, oh, that was near. Yeah, and as you can see, the OB is even in the circle. Yes. It's not even 10 meters room to, to so land your disc. Margaret makes it easy. Makes it easy. Makes it par. And Robert does the same. A little bit wide, but it's still in 5-6 meters. Yes. Shouldn't be any problem. And Gabrielius. He has a he has long butt. He's running it and... Oh, oh, oh. a bit short, but yeah. easy, easy bar. He wanted that. Oh. And Sven is saving his bar, but he doesn't. So we have... We don't Ronald have. We don't have yet, but oh, we no. don't have it at all. Ronald is taking a boogie as well. So Robert is taking a par oh. and no birdies. Birdies, three bars and two boogies. Yeah. Par is really great in here. Par is good. Yes, I think uh, most of us. Uh, a par. Yeah. I think uh, great birdie is only with a forehand. Yeah, and Marger played smart, he played safe, and he extended his lead to four strokes because Ronald and Sven both took boogies and they are now 17 down. So this hole um, is only 82 meters. But uh, again, you have OB uh, left, right, uh, too long, and um, most mostly uh, people are playing uh, with a forehand. Forehand, yes. Yeah. I play uh, a little bit flexing that forehand. And on the final day, we had left-right wind, so we were able to throw it really wide, and and it came back. Do you know always. what is he throwing? Zone. I zone? guess it's his zone, yeah. ESP zone. Gabriel is throwing some kind of driver. I thought that maybe he's going with a backhand. It's so, so doable. Yeah, but 
Mm, you don't need can, backhand. As you can see, yes. it's uh, forehand is the easiest play he's here. He's playing a lot of forehand. He is. He, he's playing much more yeah, than previous nice years. Job. And Robert, yeah, yeah, nice drive. Now we have Sven with Firebird, Sexton Firebird, I guess. Oh, that's yeah. a great drive. This looks good, also. Yeah, yeah, bullseye. Great. So uh, in here we have a drop zone also, and it's not an easy one, but uh, in here we don't see that. Yeah. Because uh, they all had like tap-ins, <laughs> I would say. So uh, everybody gets a birdie, I think. And so as we were saying about or talking about Sexton Firebird is Nate Sexton coming to Estonia this year yes is he yes great and I guess he's in Estonia in July yes he's doing some Sexton shootout, shootouts yes and he's playing Aludagus Open so everybody sign up for this sign up for Aludagus Open it's the third stop of Innova Baltic Tour uh, it's on 26 to 28th of July. July, yes. And sign up, sign up for Sexton uh, shootouts and and go there and get get your autographs. Yes. So the last hole, uh, it's 130 meters. Uh, it played um, it played 3.5 and uh, only one birdie and that yes and this. Yeah. This is not an easy hole. You have a headwind all the time, oh. and uh, you have a pond. That's OB. And and as you could see, Marger is behind some kind of distraction as well. Yes. So let's see how yeah, it this. It was a great drive from Gab Gab Gabrielius. Is, yes. How it plays out. Yeah, this hole is only 130 meters, it's reachable for most of those guys, but because of the wind and the pound before the basket, nobody wants to go. Oh, is Robert it? goes a little bit... Oh! This is safe? He's safe and that's the... Oh, oh yeah, and that's a close one. And that's the best play I, I have seen in this hole. Last year uh, there were uh, quite many birdies, I think, because hmm. there were no wind. No wind. Uh, Sven is behind this sculpture as well. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what it is, I don't know. And Ronald. He's going the Oh, form. looks like he's going. Oh. He's going for the basket. Was it the Anheuser? It was. And. N oh, no! Oh. But it touched the ground. It touched, yeah. yeah. I hope somebody saw it. So, Marger has. Um, Awkward stance. He has yeah. some kind of. Uncomfortable. But really nice approach. Yes. Yeah, three, four meters. He has four strokes lead. He has yeah. no problems. That's also Sven, a great shot. Yeah, three meters. Gabrielius. He's know. running it. Yeah, great approach. So only birdie um, this round was by Gabrielius. Was it? No. Um. I'm just uh, checking the... Oh, sorry. It was uh, Christian Alleman. Oh. Uh, on the last round, I heard that he um, approached in. Okay, yeah, that's more likely. Yeah. But so it's a great... Oh! No! What It was in the bullseye. Yeah. He just lost his stroke. And, and he lost the tight second place as well with this one. Yes. And uh, he's tied. Tied to third place yes. now with Robert Maidla. Yeah, it was only so, less than three meters. Yes. So, Margaret did a great, great, great round. Yeah. He putted really well. He drived really well. What did he play? 12 under? 
Yes, it was hot ground and uh, it was rated by 1026, I think. Yeah, I guess it is his highest rated round ever. Yeah, and I'm it's a sure, course record. And it's a course record. Yes. Oh, he did everything right. Yes. So, do we have a do we have a playoff for third place as well or so, as we can see, uh, Ronald got uh, unfortunate um, double bogey and uh, others got their uh, easy pars. Yeah. So, actually, they, um, they did a playoff. They did a playoff and Robert won. Robert won. Yeah. So, Robert third place. So, congratulations to Margar. He did an awesome job. And congratulations to you as well. Thank you. You won the FBO division. Yes. <laughs> yeah, it was easy for you. <laughs> it's never easy. <laughs> yeah. And as we can see, uh, Margaret won by four. Four strokes. Four strokes, Sven second, so Robert, Robert third, third, Ronald fourth, and so on. So thank you for watching and see you in Riga. Yes, bye bye. See you in Riga.